we're in Guinea Star today and I'm just going to keep quiet and let you appreciate the quietness of this town. This village is so quiet, it's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, nice wee walk around, but there's not a hell of a lot to see. Um, I just asked a wee wifey there that was sitting outside our door, sorry, an old woman that was sitting outside our door. Um, I asked her where I could get some bread. And although she didn't speak English, she managed to point out where I might be able to get some. So this is the village centre as you come into it. Not a lot to it. There's that cafe across the road there where I'm hoping to get bread. And round here about uh, 100 metres down there on your right is the campground. I just got myself a beer and just across there in the centre of the picture now is a little shop doesn't open till six, but I'll wait. Got my bread and it's time for an evening stroll. And there's places along the way where you can sit down and have a drink of water. It's nice to get out for a walk in the countryside. Well, here's what you get at this village, completely free of charge. There's four parking spaces for motorhomes. It was full last night. I'm the only one remaining, and these other two, one either side of me, come in about uh, midday. So, and it's right on the edge of the village. So you've got countryside on one side and the village on the other. And it's about a hundred meters, if that, to the local bar. And it's 1.30 for a beer. Whereas down on the coast, it would cost you approximately 250 provided with uh, somewhere to put your wastewater load up with fresh water at this point here and you've got your dumping station there and drinking water there underneath these concrete blocks at night there's a light that shines out, which is fine if you're just getting out for a wee stroll in the middle of the night. Heading for Tortosa. It's a beautiful morning, but I woke up bloody freezing. But uh, I was parked up. That last place was a lot higher than I thought. And uh, this morning I knew it when I was coming down the hill. But look at this view of the river. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry the sun's getting in your way here, but uh, yeah. There were some lovely views up at the top of the hill as well, but I just could not uh, stop. After a nice morning's drive, with all this beautiful scenery, I end up here. And I've been here for three days. It's busy at night, but during the day it thins out quite a bit. This is my new mode of transport while I'm in the city, but we'll talk about that in the next video. 
Well, I haven't needed my, my generator since uh, coming to Spain because my solar panels is doing all my power. But uh, it was cloudy the day and I've just, as you know, got that new bike so I couldn't get it charged because the generator had broke. So I took out my wee one and it's not working either. But I've managed to find this wee garage where I think the guy will manage to fix both of them.